Hi, welcome to an introduction to camera trapping. Camera traps become really popular in recent years, but especially in the past few months, uh, I've noticed on uh, social media a lot more camera trap footage appearing. I think it's to do with people being in lockdown and they're actually putting the camera traps out in the back garden in their local patch and finding some really interesting wildlife that's there. I know I've certainly been doing that. So, camera traps, what are they? Well, basically, look like this. This one here is a cheap model, in fact it's so cheap it doesn't even have a brand on it. Uh, I picked it up on uh, online quite cheaply for about £30 I think it was if I remember right. Uh, it does the business but something like this Bushnell HD is a lot more upmarket, a lot more expensive but you get what you pay for and the quality of the picture and the video is a lot better. Basically, what I do is I use video shooting on this one and picture shooting on this one. For that reason, this one is, I've installed a 32 gigabyte SD card, whereas this one only four gigabyte because it's only taking photos. The Bushnell also comes similar to this one, which comes with a strap. Also comes with a strap, um, but also you can uh, splash out a bit more. And if I just do up the camera, get a metal case for it, make it more secure, pop it in, lid on, padlock on, and then a Python cable like this. This is a lot of extra expense, but it's worth it because the Bushnell is, as I say, a lot more expensive. Just slide it through there and undo all this and tie it on. It should stay um, where it is. Of course, any any thief that's wanting to steal it, if they've got a mind to it, will be able to break break it off. But it will take they'll take time. So if you've got it somewhere that's relatively uh, public and it might be disturbed, it might be just enough to put someone off. So how do you set up a trail cam? Well, they're all pretty easy. They all get slight differences. It just depends what the instructions are. Uh, this one has some buttons in here. You set it to set up and then type in what you want. You can set it to take video or photos and also how long, uh, how many photos in a row, whether it's just one and wait a bit and then another one or whether you take five at a time. Uh, and also the video, what length of video, I've got this set to take the maximum length of video which is 30 seconds and basically just wait a second and then start again if there's still something setting it off, uh, setting off the motion sensor which is in the front here. Motion sensors here at the front, this part here, this these here are the infrared which gives you night vision so basically anything taken at night will be in black and white, anything taken during the day will be in full colour. This one on the other hand I've got set up to take uh, photos, five photos and I honestly can't remember but I've got it set up how long to wait before it takes another five but there is a slight interval. So I'm going to have photos in this one and on the other one I'll have video and I'll be setting them up later tonight. Hi, so here we are about to set up the two trail cams. This one here, I'm just tying up and just about to switch it on. So open it up, it's all set up, and I just have to set it with a simple switch and away it goes. I'll just check that there is actually a light coming out the front. So now you just tighten it up. This is really just to stop it moving around, not really for security. Long bit, which we don't want flapping it around in the wind, flapping over this side and setting off the motion sensor. 
here, just to tie it up. So that's that set up. You've got to think about this is the motif sensor down here and also what you're actually going to be looking at. Now I've chosen this bit here because just over there I know there's a bit that a hedgehog often comes through at night and I know that this area of uh, slabs is often visited by birds because they get used to food being down. When placing your camera, here's a few tips to think about. But I would say, unfortunately from personal experience, the last one is the one that I normally make the mistake of the most. Now, for this camera here, I'm not actually going to uh, secure it. Um, I'm just going to pop it in the box. So, just switch it on. That's it on. The lights on the front. Pop it in its metal case. One tip is that's taking a video, a nice video of me, right up my nose. So just be aware that when you're putting it up, you're going to see some truly horrendous sights, possibly uh, of angles of yourself that are not the most flattering. So pop it in there. I'll just secure it. Not so much for security, more just for stopping it getting knocked over. If it gets knocked over security, and then just pop it up there. And we'll see tomorrow morning what there is. Here we are the next day. The cameras have been out overnight. There's still quite a lot of bait left there. That's not surprising. Uh, I wasn't expecting as much activity as it may be at other times of the year because this is bird breeding season so the parents are out gathering live food, sort of grubs, caterpillars, insects, anything they can get to feed to their young so they will only be popping down occasionally to eat stuff like this to keep their own energy up uh, so that they can actually, um, any caterpillars and that, they can feed to their own. It's lovely to, uh, day to day, it's lovely to hear all the birds singing and hear the, and seeing the uh, swifts screeching overhead. So, gather both these in and we'll go and see what we can find. Right, so here we are, got the camera traps, brought them both in, quite easy to get on to see what's in them, it's just a case of switching them off, uh, which I've already done, and ejecting the SD card, popping it in the computer, waiting for it to uh, load up, and then let's just see, there it goes, uh, then just see what we've got. So I'm going to transfer these into the computer and then I won't bore you by having you sit and watch when um, we go through it all. It is long, time consuming, but it's always great because you never know what surprise you're going to find. There might be something turn up on it, you know, it might be the same thing, sparrow after sparrow after sparrow, and then suddenly, you know, something else appears that you weren't expecting. So it's good fun to go through them, uh, but it's probably not the most exciting thing to watch me going through them. So I'll go and uh, go through them and then I'll show you what I find.
I hope you've found this introduction to camera trapping useful. I've tried to cover as many of the basics as I could think of. If you've got any more questions, oh, please do get in contact with me. Contact details and how, uh, social media details are on the YouTube channel. And please get in touch with any other questions or any requests of the type of things you might want me to cover. Okay, thanks for listening.